Hospitality Master Products. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add master products and child products into your back office. This demo will last approximately 20 minutes. Firstly, a breakdown of what master products are. Master products are items you purchase in bulk from your supplier and then split into portions to sell to your customers. For example, these may be ingredients or a keg of beer, for example, that is split up into a half pint and then a pint to sell to the customer. Firstly, we need to create a home for our master products to live. This will help with stock management later on and you can check that in our stock management demo. We're going to create a hidden category. Navigate to the Manage tab on the left-hand side and under Products, select Categories. We're going to add category in the top right-hand corner and we're simply going to give this a name, Master Products. We do not need any other information. This is not relevant as this is a hidden category and will not appear on the till. It will only appear in your back office for your stock management. Ensure the show on till box is unticked and press save. We've now created our hidden home for our master products. And we can go ahead now and show you how to add your master products and your child products onto your back office. Master products, step one. There are three stages to creating your master products. The first is create your child products. Child products are items on your menu. These are the products or drinks that the customer pays for. Stage two is creating your master product. Remember, your master products are the items or ingredients you buy in bulk from your suppliers and split into smaller portions. Stage three is linking the two together to calculate the correct cost price and the correct profit margin. This is stage one and we'll create a child product. This is adding a generic product. We've already covered this when adding the products into the back office. So we'll go to product list and we'll add a new child's product. Select the add product button and complete the following information as required. We'll add in a name and I will call this chicken burger. The description will automatically fill. And now we come on to fill the sale price, including tax. We can add it to our category. We don't need to worry about adding brands or suppliers for this. We add our suppliers to the master product, which we'll add in stage two. Add in any article codes. And again, we don't need to worry about the unit of volume of sale. These are for master products only and will be covered in stage two. Add in your button color if you wish. Add any pop-up notes, which we'll go through shortly. Add your multiple choice notes. Again, we'll show you how to create these in a moment. And add any till orders and ensure the sell on till box is ticked. Once you're happy, select add. And that is stage one completed, creating your child's product. Master products, step two. We'll go ahead now and create our master products. Remember, master products are items or ingredients you purchase in bulk from your suppliers and then split into smaller portions to sell to your customers. To do this, we'll add in our master products as a new product. Select the add product button in the top right hand corner. We created our child product, a chicken burger. I'm now going to add in the master product for the buns. 
I'll call this burger buns. And in brackets, I'm going to put 12. This is a pack of 12 burger buns. I'll also include in the name the letters MP for master product. This will make it easier for you to identify which products are master products. These are your bulk items and which products you sell to your public. Now we come on to the cost and sale price again, choosing if we are entering excluding tax or including tax. Now we don't sell a pack of 12 buns to the customer. We sell a chicken burger. So your cost price and sale price, always remember for your master products is going to be the same. We'll enter that information here now. As a reminder, based around the 20% VAT tax rate, this is, has a formula which has now calculated your cost and sale price accurately for you. So here, the cost and sale price, including tax, are both £12. This is what we buy from our supplier at that price. You can now add any barcodes for these items. Your packaging or your boxes of your bulk master products may have a barcode on them. Adding this barcode will help with orders and deliveries later on, which is covered in our hospitality stock management demo. We can now add to our master products category, select any brands, and you can now add in your suppliers. To create a new supplier, Select the Create Supplier button. Now we want to focus on the unit and volume of sale. Remember, this is for master products only. We can now look into this. Firstly, select the units of sale. For these burger buns, we'll select each. However, you have got other units of sale available. For example, if you had a litre bottle of spirit, you can select litres. And again, kegs of beer will be worked in half pints. Select whichever best represent that product. Now the volume. This is the volume unit of sale. Okay. So, it shows an example. There are 352 half pints in a keg. We know the volume here. We entered it in the name. There are 12 individual buns in one pack. So we can add 12 here. We don't need to worry about button colour, pop-up notes, multiple choice notes or till order because we are going to untick the sell on till box. We don't want our master products to be physical tiles on the till. This can get very confusing for your staff members. Once you're happy, press add. And we've now successfully completed step two, creating your master products. Master products, step three. We've now completed steps one and two. Step one, adding the child's product. This is the dish or menu item that the customer will purchase. Step two, creating the master product. This is the bulk ingredients or products that you purchase from your supplier. Step three, we now need to link the two together. This will calculate our correct cost price and also calculate our profit margin for your child's product. To link the two, find the child's product you wish to link and select the advanced button. Scroll down to a section titled 
titled master products. Now we can start to add all of the master products that build this item. Here we've selected cheeseburger. Firstly, we'll filter through the category. And now we can enter in the amount of this master product that is being added. Here are burger buns that are 12 in a pack. And we use one burger bun per cheeseburger. We can now press add. You can add multiple master products to this cheeseburger. You can have your burger patties, you can have your salad items, and you can also add sauce. Add all of the master products that you need to for this item. Once you're happy, you have added all of your master products. We now want to select the calc from master products button. Once pressed, this will work out our correct cost price and also the correct profit margin. We'll show you that now. So the formula has now calculated the cost price and profit margin. And once you're happy with this, select save. You've now successfully completed stage three of adding and creating master products and linking them to your menu items. That brings us to the end of our hospitality master products demo. Don't forget, if you are a new business with us, you have access to your implementation manager for any further questions. For our existing customers, you have access to our support lines. Thank you for watching.